I'm going to show you guys how I installed my box braids. This is a great protective style for the summer. As you may know, I live in Chicago and I am available to do Havana twist, Marley twist, Senegalese twists, and box braids if you're interested. Contact me at donedo at umich.edu. The kind of braiding hair I used was Super X Kanekalong braiding hair. You can see how extremely long the hair comes. For the length of my braids, I cut the hair in half. If you'd want them mid-back, then I would suggest cutting the hair into thirds. Once you cut the hair in half, you have to feather out the ends by slowly picking out small pieces piece by piece to create the tapered end effect. This is one of the most tedious parts of doing box braids or Senegalese twists. But this will ensure that your ends don't have a blunt cut on the end and it will help make the twists and the braids stay secure. You want to make sure that you comb through the hair as you are feathering out the ends. This will prevent large tangles once you're ready to use the hair. Another step you can do as well after you feather the ends is divide the hair and then place it back on top and divide the hair and place it back on top. This also makes sure that the ends are even on both sides. Once you've done that step, you can comb it through again or you can brush it out. Brushing it out really helps mix the hair. Once it's detangled and even on both sides with feathered ends, you're ready to start the braids. Depending on how big or how small you want the braids, you're going to take off a piece accordingly. You want to make sure the extensions are even on both sides and wrap it around your hair. See how it's looped? Once you've done that, then you start braiding your hair with the extensions. Once you've gone part of the way down, you want to take one third of the extensions and add it to your hair so that by the time you get done braiding through your hair, the braid will have three even strands. And you can add gel as you go to blend in your hair with the extensions. You want to make sure that you're paying attention when you're braiding your hair. Because as you can see I was not and I had pieces of my hair sticking out the braid. So I had to add more gel and rebraid. Now I'm going to show you the steps again for attaching the extension securely. Take a small piece of hair, make sure it's even on both sides, loop it around your hair, get it extremely as close to your roots as possible because you don't want the braids to be loose. And then you start braiding your hair with the extensions. Once you get about an inch of the way down, you want to take one third from one strand of extensions and add it to your hair. Keep braiding. And then add one third of the second half of the extensions to your hair to get three even strands.
You can also add a clip at the roots to lessen the tension while you're braiding the hair. of 132 braids and I actually might redo the back section the last row um, because it looks really sparse when I put it up in a ponytail so I'll probably end up with like 136 around 140 total this took me a total of about 20 hours to finish all of this. I did take breaks, I did it over the course of a week, so I don't know the exact amount, but I know that I spent 10 or 12 hours on it yesterday, two hours on it today, and probably at least six hours over the course of the day. And I'll show you guys how long it is in the back. motion in the background. It's actually because there's a parade outside. Starting on my block. So there's radio stations out there. I'm gonna go attend the parade and then when I get back I'm gonna have to rebraid some of these a little further down and I'll burn towards the end. Not the ends of it but just the braid to make sure that they stay braided and they don't unravel. And then, depending on how I feel, I may or may not dip the ends in water because when I dipped my long Senegalese twists in water, they got all crinkly and gross looking and I kind of like them like this. So I don't think I'm going to trim it. Just braid them down a little bit further for the ones that started coming unbraided. 
and then I'll be completely done. So I'm guessing that it took me a total of maybe 16 to 20 hours to complete this look. Um, it was really hard for me to do the back of my head and I had to keep redoing the same braids over and over because I wasn't getting it close enough to my scalp. Um, all in all I think I have 132 braids so that's a lot of braids. Is what I did once I finished um, each braid to keep it from unraveling. I would take small scissors and trim off any of the hair on the lower portion of it that was sticking out to make sure that it wasn't my hair. I don't know if you guys can see. I have a few hairs sticking out but this is my hair so I won't be cutting those pieces off. But the hairs down here that stick off you definitely want to trim them off. And then what I do since I don't burn the ends, this is in the 1990s, I just take a lighter and just go like this, up and down the lower length of the hair, and that will just keep the braid from unraveling. And unfortunately, when I thought I had finished a few days ago, I got in a hurry and I just wanted to go out and just wear my braids down and unfortunately a lot of them started coming unbraided because I hadn't used a lighter to seal the, seal the bottoms of them so this morning I had to spend about a couple hours just re-braiding the ends of each braid and then making sure that they were secure and I'm going to show you guys the full length of my braids I want it down the middle. Even though it's super thick, I can still fit it up in a high bun too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're in the Chicago area and you're looking for a hairstylist for Son of Lee's Twist, Box Braids, Havana Twist, or Marley Twist, definitely shoot me an email. My email address is d-o-n-e-d-o -E -E at umich.edu. Again, that's donetto at u-m-i-c-h dot edu. And thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.